welcome guys. This is gonna be such a fun vlog. I am kind of fresh getting up here, so don't mind me and my parents. I got back from vacation last night. Yara picked us up. Our plane landed, but we didn't end up getting like out and with our luggage till after four. And then by the time we brought my mom back, drove home, we picked up dinner on the way. We didn't get home till, I don't know, like six or so. Um, and then I unpacked, I actually unpacked last night. Shocking. I tell you the packing cubes, they really help. They just make it easier. Um, cause I had all my things car compartmentalized. It's easier to unpack though. Cause it's mostly just like dirty clothes, you know, but it was really great to see Yar and Bruno last night. Bruno and Yar had a great week. They bonded heavily, but, um, I definitely, I missed my little baby. Today's a big day. Today is not just Easter. Today is Easter slash gender reveal with my family slash mom's birthday. So when I was in Florida, Yar held down the fort. He went and got three different balloons. We've got happy birthday, bunny, and then this says boy or girl on it. Since we live like not super far from my family, but far enough where they're all coming over today anyway for Easter, we're like, Let's just do like a big, a big fun celebratory day. So we're gonna have Easter dinner and do the gender reveal cake pops that I made that are so ugly. <laughs> I literally thought about like doing something different, but I put, I put my heart and soul into those cake pops. So we're just gonna, gonna go along with it. I took them out of the freezer. I'm gonna let them thaw, put in the little sticks in the bottom. And then we'll, I think I'm gonna have like everyone go around, like take a bite and like, See who gets. Oh shit. <laughs> I'll edit that out. <laughs> Pregnancy brain is so real. I ordered these on Amazon. There's way too many. I'm gonna definitely like save these for the future, see if someone else uh, wants them. They didn't have any packs that weren't like a ton of them, but I got these on Amazon. And look how cute these little stickers are. So I wanna see everyone's guess beforehand and put the little sticker on whether they think it's uh boy or girl so that'll be fun i think a lot of my family is like half and half on it but we'll see i can't really remember so <laughs> can't remember anything with the pregnancy brain but i'm glad a lot of you guys had said um i posted the last part of the vacation vlog a lot of you guys said you also had like hearing issues during pregnancy but it's not like actually hearing rather than just pregnancy brain like trying to process your <laughs> hearing things and then i also amazoned this adorable like set of stuff to decorate my mom's birthday cake. Yara went and picked up this really pretty cake with like sprinkles all around it. So I'm gonna do this like decoration kit and I'll show you guys how it looks. It's got like balloons. It's really, really cute. Amazon, God bless Amazon really. And then I also grabbed a happy Easter. Hi baby. Hi Juan, did you meet your mom? I missed you. Um, let's see, how do I get this out? Oh, thank God it's pretty strong this happy Easter banner and these pastels, it's so cute. And then there's an Easter one also with like bunnies. It's so cute. It's like with a wool string and I don't know if it's burlap fabric, but I think it's really cute. I wanna save it. So my family's actually bringing most of the food, which is so nice. Like ham, mashed potatoes, broccoli casserole, like a bunch of stuff. I'm in charge of mac and cheese. Um, and then we have like mom's birthday cake, the cake pops. And then I'd also remember I bought all that Easter candy to do like an Easter candy board. <laughs> so per usual, we've got too much dessert, but that's fine. We've got our pretty Easter plates. These were from Walmart. I picked these up a while back in the vlog. And then I got these adorable little bunnies for like the cake dessert plate. This was also from Walmart. I don't know why it's got like dust on it. I'll wash it, but I'm gonna do my candy board on here, super cute. Happy Easter napkins. Oh, I got some of this like edible grass to like put around the edge of the candy board. I think that would look cute. Little bunny sea salt caramels, some of these. And like my family is gonna have to take a bag to go cause I know there's gonna be so much of this left over, but nothing like a little goodie bag to take with you. Got the Cadbury eggs, the best. Reese's eggs. I tried to get mostly like small bags where I could since I just want like a plethora of option. These little these little chicken chocolates. Got classic jelly beans. Of course you gotta have peeps. 
Reese's mini eggs. That's cool. Soft jellies and mini bunnies. So <laughs> I can whip up the candy board on the earlier side. It's almost nine o'clock. They're coming at one. I think I just need to get ready. I have my mom's presents right there. My mom's birthday is tomorrow, April 1st. So I'll probably see her tomorrow too. So I'm gonna see if she wants this today or tomorrow. Okay, I just did my makeup for today. Even did a little baby wing and some lashes. Yours in the shower right behind that wall. And then I crimped my hair. I really need to get my roots done. I think it's been, I feel like it's only been like a month and a half. I don't know. I do feel like my hair has been growing really fast. Honestly, since starting to take prenatals like two years ago. <laughs> um, but here is the dress. I've had it hidden here. Um, trying not to vlog it for like over a month. Um, it was the last one they had in the XXL and it's so pretty. It's from Ivy City Co. I've got their dresses before, but I bought it like the second I saw it because I was looking for like gender reveal dresses and this was my favorite. It's like smocked at the top. I got like tears down it, but it's pink and blue. So it's just very fitting, of course. Um, but yeah, it's already like 12.15, so I took my time doing my makeup, I was talking to Lily, so I gotta do my dress, and jewelry, and then I gotta go put the mac and cheese in the oven. You don't even know what you're in for today. You're about to have a very good day with lots of people that you love. We gotta put on your Easter shirt. Okay guys, here is the dress on. I have my slippers on. <laughs> um, but I love it, it's so cute. So just springy, and it's like super duper stretchy and comfy and then i bought two necklaces from arula because they were buy one get one 50 off this was only 20 bucks and it's got like the little clovers on it cloves cloves <laughs> big neck friendly and then i'm wearing miranda fry miranda fry a little huggy with the heart miranda fry i'll link everything Whew, i'm out of breath the oven is preheating for the mac and cheese i bought the frozen kind had yar pick it up from whole foods <laughs> but it's just so good and i'm gonna add like a topping to it myself, jazz it up. And you guys know I love to make some sort of like mocktail for these kind of things. They're just so fun. So I had him pick up stuff for that yesterday as well. So let's make a fun little mocktail. It's 12.36 and people will be here at one. So these are the frozen mac and cheeses. These are fire. If you ever need a little cheap mac and cheese. I've got my trusty drink dispenser. Is there a word for this? Pitcher? No. No. Now I'm gonna take every last bit of ice I have in the freezer. All right, that's that's a good amount of ice. Go freezer. Okay, so I got a plethora of things here and I didn't know how much I would need. So I had him get kind of a lot. But I'm gonna do some sort of like citrus, lemonade -y vibe. So first I got this less sugar lemonade. All right, there's our base. And I've always wanted to try these, these Italian sodas. I always see them at the store. Blood orange and tropical blend. Maybe I'll do half and half. And then just if it's too sweet, I'll try it with that first. And if it's too sweet to mellow it out, I have like lemon and citrus 
sparkling waters. That's my little tip if it ends up like getting too sweet. And then it will also add like more bubbles. Oh, it's so pretty. I have a feeling this is actually gonna be like a good amount. Also, the oven is preheated. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. A few moments later. Okay, I apologize. I just got so sidetracked. I ended up making like a little crust for the mac and cheese and then throwing it in the oven. And I ended up putting both of the Italian sodas, this whole thing of lemonade, and about two thirds of this one. And it tastes perfect. I also added lemon and mint, kind of just to make it pretty, but it'll infuse over time. So it tastes delicious. I tried a little bit. Wow, <laughs> look oh, at you your dress. Booty, yeah. can I, you show up? Yeah. Sit, sit, sit. Go, boy, look at your cute shirt. So beautiful. Oh. Max is team boy. <laughs> Mimi is team boy. Team girl. Yeah. She switched over That's from right. girl to boy. This is me. I can't decide. <laughs> Grandma. Team nice. girl. girl. Okay. Team girl. Uh, ciao, oh, ciao. Ciao. Team Thank girl. you. Team boy. <laughs> team I'm girl. A, I'm official boy. I'm official boy. Team boy. All right. So here are my horrible cake pops. Made with love. Yeah, we got Stevens because Jan told me. Thanks, baby. Yeah. But you are boy. Girls, that's oh! <laughs> it's yeah. definitely not. <laughs> yes, see, okay. these are my uh, gender reveal Ooh. cake pops. This so one at a time, I'm gonna have you guys all take a bite. One of you lucky people will get the one oh. with the color. Oh. I don't know who's gonna get it, oh. but hopefully, uh, so, so don't put the whole thing in your mouth. Nope, you're gonna just bite, bite it. it. <laughs> just, yeah, if it falls your... off, just, uh, it's not great. <laughs> Just hold the ball part. Oh good, I made it Oh, up. I hope it's not that one. That would be hilarious. <laughs> We're gonna wing it. It'll be the color on the inside of it. No. No? <laughs> no? <laughs> no! Do they taste good? Mm. They're mm. Good. Oh, they are good? Right, Credit, did really you get good. it? No. No? No. No? <laughs> wow, what are the chances? No? 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 <laughs> Jenny? It's only two left. Mimi is cutting the ham. It's got broccoli casserole, my mac and cheese, potatoes, rolls. Yeah. And the cake pop. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mimi. Grandma. Happy birthday to you. So pretty. Six and a half hours later. All right, you guys. It's 8.20. Um, my family left, I think around five or six. And Yara and I have just been like cleaning up, hanging out. Um, we heated up some of the food from earlier, but today it was so much fun. I don't think I vlogged like a ton, so I apologize, but I know I needed to vlog <laughs> the uh, reveal. So my aunt screaming, my aunt getting the cake pop was honestly so perfect. Um, that was so much fun. I was so curious who was gonna get it. And she was the one that changed her sticker from girl to boy, which makes it extra funny because a long time ago, she wanted to try doing the ring over my belly and it actually was like girl. Um, and then when Yara did it, it was boy. So I thought that was really funny. So I don't know, I don't think any of those old wives tales are like, you know, obviously that that accurate. But overall, super fun day. I'm so glad I can finally tell my family. I literally, I text Mimi like every day cause she has her little iPad and she talks to all of us like via text all the time. And I just kept almost letting it slip to her. Like little baby boy. And it feels so good to not have this as a secret from you guys either. Also, I saw some people wondering how we found out the gender so early since I'm 14 weeks. So I don't know if this is like a normal thing everywhere or not at this point. I know a lot of people have to wait to find out the sex when they do it on the sonogram. But at 10 weeks, I had to go in and get a ton of blood drawn for checking 
checking a bunch of stuff. Genetic screenings and things. I can't remember the word, I'm sorry. But through that, they also checked um, the gender. And then we also did um, a carrier screening and we had totally forgotten that we worked with Invitae <laughs> years ago before we were trying um, to see what we were carriers of. And of course the results came back the same. A total brain fart. But yeah, that's how we were able to find out the gender so early. We do have like a funny story of <laughs> finding out it didn't go as planned. So I'll share that with Yar another day. Maybe he and I can do like a sit down chit chat Q&A. We also posted uh, a different <laughs> gender reveal um, with Bruno over on Instagram. If you guys want to check that out. Since being on vacation last week, I have a couple episodes of my shows to watch. So I am very much looking forward to crawling in bed and watching <laughs> 90 Day Fiance. I love how they just keep it moving. It's 90 Day Fiance, now it's Happily Ever After. They don't even make us wait a week. I watched the, um, I watched bits and pieces of the Bachelor finale when I was in Florida. I did think he was gonna end up with, spoiler alert. I did think he was gonna end up with Kelsey. Um, I feel like a lot of us felt that. I feel like they wanted her to be the next Bachelorette and maybe she said no. Cause you guys, hear me out. I saw a TikTok that pointed this out and I'm so glad they pointed it out because like I 100% did not notice this and neither did my friends. When Daisy was doing her interview, you know, Jesse was saying like, and up next, we're gonna reveal the next Bachelorette. Will it be Daisy, this girl right here? I didn't notice this. There were like roses on the tables around them. They had switched the flowers to daisies for Daisy's segment. The roses were switched to daisies. That's pretty special. It's just like giving <laughs> next Bachelorette vibes. So I kind of wonder if like they asked her <laughs> and she said no and then they had Jen as backup or maybe not. Maybe they just had daisies for Daisy to be Daisy, I don't know. <laughs> but in my opinion, I just feel like if they're gonna go through the effort of like switching out the flowers, I don't know. It's like a theory that I saw on TikTok and I feel like it just makes a lot of sense. But either way, Jen is the first Asian American bachelorette and I think that is amazing. Definitely need to keep the diversity rolling on Bachelor. Still waiting for some real plus size people. Anyway, you guys. <laughs> It feels so good to take off the makeup, put on a baggy t-shirt, and I'm gonna go curl up, I'm gonna go curl up. But I love you guys so much. It's a boy. <laughs> I was so sure it was a girl, and it was such an exciting shock that it was a boy. I'll tell you guys about that story another time. Um, but yeah, baby boy coming at the end of September, so. I will see you guys in a few days and let me know what other pregnancy content you have for requests. And I'm glad that you guys are loving the pregnancy content because I'm loving it. <laughs> so it means a lot that you guys are here for it right now. So thank you. All right, bye guys. Mm -hmm.